all right what's up guys so welcome back to another video today we're gonna be recording heroes world it's a game that just came out um very recently i think a few days ago and yeah i've seen a few videos on it and beta has been you know telling me to play it so basically today we're gonna be checking out the game and it's a one punch man game i've only recorded like one one punch man game in the in the past which is a uh, one punch man destiny so this will be uh this is gonna be something to base off um one punch man games on because i don't really play too many one punch man games but one punch man uh, destiny was definitely a very fun game so i'm gonna be playing the game hope you guys enjoy if you guys do of course be sure to like subscribe and let's get into the video guys all right so we're in game and it looks like there's daily rewards which is pretty cool so it looks like there's re-rolls in this game, premium re-rolls, and they just added ice um, in update one. Okay, so uh, low quality mode, no, donate, uh, donate to the devs, and roll. This is this is what we're here for, um, the re-rolls. So there's a lot of codes in the game. I wonder if I can re-roll them um, in the in the menu. Let's see, ice. That's that's a new code. Okay, wow. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna use all the codes real quick because I'm in a Discord and they have like hella codes. They have like 13 codes or something like that. So I'm gonna I'm gonna use all the codes and then come back with the amount of uh, rerolls I have. All right, so we redeemed all the codes and now um yeah we got a lot of codes. We got 57 regular rerolls and we got 25 premium rerolls. So um what are we aiming for? I honestly don't know what we're trying to aim for since I don't know how rare like rare is or legendary. So I guess we're just gonna use all our spins basically and see what we get. So uh, buying rerolls or buying rerolls, uh, you can accept the chance of getting the same thing you had before. Okay, we got ninja. All right, this reroll thing is pretty slow. It's like yeah, it like changes colors the rainbow and like something just comes out. That's pretty cool though. Superhuman. All right, let's just I guess let's keep rerolling. I mean we have a bunch of rerolls. Like I'm gonna be here for a minute, so uh, I'm gonna keep rerolling and see if I get anything cool. I'll cut back. Okay, so we got our first rare. We got Esper. But it's like the most common rare. So I'm going to keep rerolling because we do have 25 premium rerolls. So what I'm aiming for, honestly, I'm, I'm going to try to get a legendary. But if I can't, I'm going to just try to get like a rarer type of rare. Because there's like a r different rarities within the rare category. Like Esper is 45%. And these are like a lot less percent. So they might might be a little more rare. Might be a little better. So yeah, I'm going to keep rerolling. Okay, last reroll, last regular reroll, and then we're gonna move on to premium rerolls, which I don't know what they do, but I think it should be like higher chances probably. Um, that's what I'm thinking. So let's just use it and see if we have higher chances. So um, basically, the most rare thing we've gotten is Metal Thug. Uh, okay, so hmm, that's weird. I guess it's higher chances, but it's definitely not a guaranteed rare. So I've gotten Metal Thug, but I'm trying to go for either Ice Manipulation or a Legendary since I do have premium rerolls, so might as well try to roll for uh, something really cool. So, oh, okay. Premium rerolls, it changes the rarity. Okay, let me see. So 70% and this is 3% and then common is like 20 something percent. Okay, so let's keep rerolling and let's try to get something cool like Ice Manipulation or a Legendary. Okay, so we just got Metal Thug, and um, basically we have not gotten Ice Manipulation or Legendary out of all those rerolls. So I'm gonna spin the premium reroll one last time, and this is gonna decide what we're gonna be getting for the video. So come on, please, please give us something good. And, and, okay, well. Looks like we're getting ninja. We're gonna be using ninja in this video. That's a RIP right there. Okay, we use all those rerolls and we, okay, we didn't get anything good, but let's get into the game. So ninja, looks like we have a katana as a ninja. All right, pretty cool. Um, All right, let's go explore a little bit. So we can set spawn point. All right, what's in here? This looks like an arena mode. Is that like PVP or something? Let's see, you need to be at least level 200. Okay, I'm only level one shady deal hey kid want a common roll for five thousand? okay so you can buy rerolls for not that much i guess you could buy rerolls for in-game currency which is pretty good all right utility so you want to go back to menu screen now nah, we're good let's see um prestige oh, okay there's prestiges in this game you need to talk to at least oh you need to be at least level 1000 okay okay let's go to the menu so the menu we have some stat points we got health stamina strength and agility let's put into strength because yeah that's basically like the basics of a i guess a fighting game you usually want to get a bunch of strength so you can you know kill the mobs pretty quick so let's talk to this dude would you like to would you like me to point you towards someone that needs your help yes please uh just follow the arrows okay um i see no arrows 
Uh, follow the arrows. Where's the arrows? Okay, no arrows. Those thugs across the street took my commute money. Commute money. Can you beat them up for me? All right. Looks like we're going to beat up some thugs. Uh, okay, punish three thugs for stealing my money. We have a katana. We have a katana. Okay, let's see. We're, we're basically ninja. And uh, let's see. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so the M2, you kind of like, you, you swing forward. Like, you. okay, that's very weird. That's a good amount of damage, too. So it's like a ranged attack. A free ranged attack in your kit. Just an M2. Okay, they can interrupt your M2, though. All right, we got to kill one more and we're good. Let's see. Okay, they TP back. Boom. Okay, maybe the range isn't that long, but uh, okay, let's do this and then this. I missed my M2. Okay, oh wow, it looks like someone has the ice manipulation. All right, I leveled up a bunch there. Let's see, menu, we're level 12 already, okay. Uh, let's actually upgrade this into strength so we can do a lot more damage. Okay, let's kill this thug. I also see a, uh, a suitcase. I don't know, um, okay, it's shining, so I'm guessing it's some something cool. Let me actually, come on, just die, please, just die. Boom, boom, and then they're dead. Okay, we got a suitcase here. What is this going to give us? Uh, okay, we just got $92, okay. Um, how much money do we have? We have 34k. What do we even use our money for? Menu, stats, skills. Okay, katana, we already have this. We have shuriken throw at level 25. What, what level are we? We're level 19. Okay, we're almost there. Uh, let's upgrade more into let's upgrade more into strength. So 14 points, boom, and upgrade that. Nice. I don't know when we have to move on to the next mission because this arrow isn't working. If I talk to him, he says, "Would you like me to point you towards what needs help?" Okay, yes, please. And then like, there's no arrows. Okay, uh, I guess we just gotta explore by ourselves. Okay, so I just completed a mission, and uh, yeah, the arrow's popped up now. So it looks like we have to go to a new mission. That's pretty cool. It tells us when we can move on and progress to a different mission. Okay, let's just kill this dude because he's attacking me. Oh my god, this NPC. Come on, just die. Just die. Oh my god, okay. I heard you can also block. Um, In the description, it says you can block uh, while you're getting combo to like... Basically, I think get rid of uh, infinite combos maybe, but... Okay, so it looks like we got to follow the arrow... And actually, let me let me upgrade some into my uh, into my strength first. So let's do eight, eight stat points into strength. Boom. Okay, let's talk to this guy. One. Okay. E. Uh, Brass Knuckles Johnson is over there, and he's the leader of the thugs. So we have to kill him. Okay. So it's a boss. It's only one of them. Okay. Where's Brass Knuckles Johnson? Oh, it looks like someone else is fighting him too. Uh, let's see. Yeah, he's right here. Okay, so yeah, he is here. Let's see. We do a lot of damage. Oh my god. Okay, yeah. Strength is definitely the way to go. Although I'm really, really squishy right now. Where is he? Oh, he got TP'd back. Okay. Okay, he does so much damage. All right, let's block. He does so much damage. All right, maybe this maybe this dude will help us. Come on, help us. He literally has brass knuckles too. Okay. What? Someone's trying to attack me? Why me? All right. Let's just keep attacking and he's dead all right we got a bunch of levels we should have enough for oh my god we're leveling up so much we already finished we're, we're already progressing to the next mission after doing one of them okay so let's do skills let's do shuriken throw yes yeah, buy this oh i don't have enough agility oh, okay there's stat requirements okay stamina agility health and strength that's really cool okay so now we got to upgrade into agility so let's upgrade uh two into agility boom and let's see are there any other requirements let's go to skills buy this okay i need more stamina i need 70 stamina let's put 10 points into here oh well that's a little too much but uh let's see can we buy it now okay we can buy it so we got shuriken throw and how do we equip it uh skills do we equip it select the toolbar score okay select the toolbar right here all right nice that's really cool i like the uh, stat requirements so sure can throw let's actually oh yeah let's not mess with them <laughs> let's not mess with them um let's just test it out okay we chucked three shurikens out that's really cool uh okay looks like a hair salon over here now nah, we're good we're good we i mean we were we were bald earlier i equipped some hair so we did we weren't bald but okay let's keep going all right let's actually set spawn here so we so if we die we can respawn back here we probably need some health not gonna lie let's talk to him so the crabs we need to go over to the beach and kill them okay the beach will become much safer okay nice we got to kill four of these dudes let's test out shuriken throw how much damage does this thing do oh wow okay nice little range move all right what oh i think i'm lagging a bit right here okay we're good okay what i got a warning a meteor is heading for the city please head to the top of 
uh hero iq to power the plasma cannon okay let's head over there if you guys see on the top of my screen it says that there's a warning okay how do we head over there i want to go there That's, that sounds cool i remember in a hero's what was it called destiny or i forgot what the name of the game was called but the other one punch man game we had to like break the meteor or something and uh okay so it looks like people are already up there how do we get up there okay that looks really really cool someone with ice manipulations up there all right how do we head up into the building do we like go into the elevator okay yeah we go to the roof all right what do we do power the plasma cannon do we kill it we have to try to break it or something okay it looks like these dudes are trying to break it so all right let's do this let's try to break it although i'm probably doing like no damage because i literally i just started the game but so we got to why are we breaking the plasma cannon i thought we were supposed to uh power it okay i don't know um let's see our sister hit this yeah okay i'm just gonna hit this um all right i guess we're just gonna spam hit this thing use our moves and stuff until it breaks oh wow okay we i guess we uh successfully did it i don't know but okay let's see there's actually a okay let's collect this we got some money um i honestly don't know what happened i was just punching the little pillar and i got some levels all right free levels that's what i like to see i'm actually gonna reset so i can go back to my spawn because i said spawn where my mission was so okay we'll take it free missions i'll take that any day Something I really like about this game is that you can basically use your shuriken throw and it auto equips your uh, katana back. So you can just, you know, like combo afterwards instead of having to re equip your katana. So, all right, we're gonna keep grinding. Let's see what level we are 64. So, I'm guessing whenever we do uh, complete our complete this mission to the point where we can go to the next mission, we're gonna get like an arrow. So, let's just keep doing this and uh, I'll come back when we get the arrow. All right, so we finished the missions and now we can actually go to the next mission. Okay, so before we actually do that, I have, a, I have a bunch of stat points from leveling. So let's go to skills. So the requirements for the next few skills are 50, 150, and 250. So let's get the 51. We need 100 stamina, 360 HP, and 30 strength and 20 agility. Let's go to stats. I need We need one agility. How much strength do we need? All right, we have more than enough strength. We need a lot of HP. We already have enough HP, and we need 100 stamina. So let's do uh, 10 in here. Boom, and we should have enough for the skill, ninja step. All right, nice. Let's select uh, in our toolbar, and then let's use it. What does this do? Okay, a TP move. Does it do any damage, though? I don't know if that does any damage, but uh, okay. Before we do that, let's put some points in the HP so we can... Uh, oh, are we getting attacked? Oh, yeah, we're getting attacked. Hey, 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 okay. Come back here, come back here. Don't run away after you attack me. Don't, don't run away after you attack me. Come on, come on, get these hands. Not even hands, these katana, come on. Come get this katana. And he's dead. Okay, he's not even fighting back. Oh, he is fighting back. All right, he's running away. I got ninja step. You're trying to run away from a ninja? Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're tripping. Come on. Come on. Where's my shuriken? Hello? Okay, I think... Uh, is that my... Do I not have enough stamina for it or something? All right. Let's see. Let's just M1 him then. All right, guard broke him. Boom. And he's dead. All right, yeah. Never try to run away from a ninja. What? I literally have ninja step. I can, I can literally TP2. It's like flash step. Okay. So, uh, all right, now that we got the move, it looks like it doesn't do any damage though while we're fighting him. We got good HP. Okay, well he respawned, but let's do the crab mission now. So talk to him. That crab monster over there attacked me because I destroyed the sand castle. Okay, we're back. Are you trying to trample on my castle too? Okay, he, he invited me to a party. Nah, we're good, we're good. Let's do shuriken throw. Boom, nice, good damage. Ninja step, boom, into some M1s maybe. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to be attacking each other because we're not in a party, though. I probably should have accepted it, um, but yeah, nah, I'm good. Let's do this. Um, I'm probably just going to spam shuriken throw because that's a good ranged move. I spam M2s also. Okay, can I direct the M2s? Like, what if I'm aiming here and I, like, face this way? Okay, yeah, I can direct the M2s. Let's M1 him. Okay, we can block mid-combo, so we're good. Look, if he attacks me, I can block mid-combo. But he block breaks really quick, so I got to be, be careful. All right. Um... All right, so what I've noticed is that the moves take like a lot of stamina. So I'm going to need to upgrade some points into stamina because, uh, yeah, that's definitely really important because if I don't have stamina, I can't use any of my moves. So, OK, now we're going to keep farming. I'm around level 104. I don't know when the next mission is, but we're going to keep farming this and see how. Oh, oh, we're getting attacked. Hey, yo. OK, he's not attacking us. He's attacking another guy. Hey, I don't, I don't know why. They look like brothers. They got the same hair, got the same shirt color and everything. But okay, let's do this. I'm going to show you guys how I try to kill this thing. So, can I do that? And when he tries to get near me, I can just flash step. 
because he I don't think he follows my flash step like where I'm actually going um with my actual person so and then if he attacks me I can just block oh yeah this tornado move does heck of damage like I'm taking so much damage from it boom all right and yeah I don't do too much damage honestly because this boss is really really tanky but yeah good enough I guess okay yeah he guard breaks really quick too oh yeah okay well luckily he got tp'd back and yeah i pretty much rely on my moves a lot to not get hit by the boss and uh yeah someone someone else kills me not the boss but someone else kills me so yeah i do rely on my moves a lot because i like to do shuriken throw into my m1s or ninja step into my m1s i don't just go into m1 because yeah he's gonna hit you when you do that so yeah let's keep farming this and i'll be back when uh when we go to the next mission okay so it looks like we've done enough of the crab missions now we got the next mission and let's keep going i just noticed that we got two times exp that's why we've been leveling up so fast and uh, okay we got five more minutes of two times exp i'm probably gonna end off the video when we do run out of two times exp because the grinding might take a, a little bit too long you know without the two times exp but with the two times exp is definitely really cool because uh, we're progressing pretty quick not gonna lie and um yeah let's keep going so we're almost actually at our uh at our third skill um let me see at our fourth skill actually uh, it's called Shadow Clone Strike. Sounds like something from Naruto. But uh, let's see. So we got to be level 150, which we are 120. So we're only 30 levels off. So we're not, we're not, too, we're not too far. Okay, we are here. So Felix. Wasn't that the... Okay, I don't know if that was the same name as the guy from before. But these rebels are staging a rebellion against uh, having to work. And these are trying to take over the forest. Okay, we got we to gotta kill up the re rebels. All right, how, how tanky are these dudes? Boom. Okay, they're not too tanky. Yeah, they're not too tanky. They're pretty easy to kill. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're just going to keep farming this now. Um, I'm going to try to get 150 and then just like get the new skill or something like that. All right, so I'm pretty sure we're level 150. Yeah, we're, we're 153 right now. And um, okay, so what are we going to get? So we got to get Shadow Clone Strike. Can we get it? So we need more agility. We need 70 agility. Oh, okay. So I'm pretty sure um different builds require different requirements so like this uh i guess ninja uh i don't know if it, what is it it's not a quirk i don't even know what it is because it's not my academia but it's a superpower um basically like they uh specialize in different things so maybe ninjas like agility which is like speed so let's do uh 36 boom oh i don't even have enough stat points okay so i need to farm a bit more before i actually get the skill so i need 70 agility so i still need like a few more levels so let's keep farming and we can get our new skill all right so we've officially ran out of two times the xp and now we're going to put a few points into agility so we can get our skill oh my god we still don't have enough all right let me farm one more quest and i should have enough okay we definitely have enough now right all right we have enough let's do one into agility actually another one into agility and we do have enough so let's go to skills shadow clone strike i don't have enough stamina oh my god okay i need 180 stamina oh my god all right well it looks like we got to keep farming do we have enough strength and health let me see all right we have enough health we have enough strength okay we just got to farm enough stamina now all right so we've actually leveled up enough to move to the next quest which i think is the boss over there so do we even have enough stamina i don't think i don't think we have enough stamina yeah, we still need to do like one more quest for the stamina. So let's do this boss quest. Um, Zaffron. Okay. That cone head over there is the ringleader of the whole operation. Take care of him. Okay, let's see. Gotta defeat this dude. Okay, he gets a lot of EXP. Let's do this. I want to build a new society. Alright, we can block all that stuff. Nice. And we have a lot of HP. So we're good. We're good. Let's ninja step. Mm-hmm. Into a combo. Nice. A shuriken throw. Alright. And then combo afterwards. Oh, yeah, we're melting this dude. We are melting this dude. All right, ninja shuriken throw into ninja step. Boom, nice little combo. And he's almost dead. Okay, this is pretty, not too hard if you know how to block. Because you can literally block mid combo. Like, look, he's gonna combo me. Like, blocking mid combo is really, really strong in this game. I don't know, um, I don't know how they're gonna balance. I don't even know if it is. Uh, I don't know if it's like a counter to or anything like that, but. All right, we completed killing him, and now we should definitely have enough uh, stamina. Okay, all right, it's been a while. I've been farming here for a little bit, so let's do this. Boom, all right. Skills, Shadow Clone Strike. I don't have enough stamina? What? I have 180 stamina, that's the requirement. Wait, that's so weird. Uh, okay, do I upgrade a little bit more into stamina then? 
Okay, there we go. Okay, that was weird. I don't know what happened there. But, um, okay. So, now we got... Let's actually equip it. So, we got Shadow Clone Strike. Boom. Alright, let's test it out on the boss. Alright, the boss respawned. Let's do this. Shadow Clone Strike. What? What does that do? Oh my god, what does that do? Alright, what? I have no idea what that does. I'm gonna be honest. I have zero idea what that does. Right, let's try it again. Let's, let me M1 combo into it. Okay, well, let's block this. Boom. Into Shadow Clone Strike. Oh, that's Ninja Step. Okay, my bad. I used the wrong move. Let's do Shadow Clone Strike. That does like 400 damage. It's not even too good. That is not too good, bro. Yeah. All right. I guess this is why this, uh, this, uh, I guess power is a common. Because look at this. It's not really that good. Look, I'm going to combo into, I guess, that. I guess it's a combo stunner. Maybe I can, like, Shadow Clone Strike into uh, Shuriken Throw. Maybe that's a good combo. Who knows? Let's test it out. Okay, well, that guy killed me. Oh, I got a super suit. Okay, what? what's that? Is that a boss drop? Let me see. I press. Oh, I got it. Oh, wow. Okay, I have it automatically equipped. That's really cool. Wait, I have a super suit. Does it give me a buff? Uh, Let's see. I see, like, my inventory. Um, No, I can't really see my inventory, but I do have a super suit now. Um, all right, that's gonna be about it for the video. I'll have the game link in the description below. This game is honestly like that My Hero Academia Death, no, not My Hero Academia, the, what is it called? Heroes Ultimatum and uh, One Punch Man Destiny. Yeah, that's what it was called. So those two games, it's kind of like those two games combined. And uh, yeah, it's honestly not too bad. I'm glad they gave the two times EXP because that definitely uh, helped progress us a lot in the beginning. And uh, yeah, after you get, after the two times EXP is gone, definitely is gonna be a grind. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, of course, be sure to like and subscribe. And peace out.